Just about the perfect setup here for Wasps. Bassett lurking just on the shoulder of Umanga. Shields feeds Robson. Gopeth. Umanga, there's the space for Bassett. Exploding into the space. Takes Wasps 7 3 in front. There's the wide pass from Robson. That takes out the inside defenders then. Let's have a look here. In behind, just that extra ball on, and there's nothing Nairavoro can do to step in and close the gate. Okay, Exeter! Armand did his packing down at eight, and oh, there's a slicing line here from Dolman. Brilliant bit of work, he's gone all the way! Phil Dolman's in! Sure, it's brilliant wow. first phase attack, and we spoke about the setup. Hendrickson first, Dolman in behind, hidden. It's a brilliant line, brilliant timing. Gareth Davis feeds, comes at the back. The wide drift ball in open. Davis feeds, comes at the back. The wide drift ball in open space. Gareth Davis, absolutely perfect. And the Georgia. Stay square. Stay square. Okay, darting from the base, and it is the CK. Well, yes. From the base. There was only one place this ball was going to go. He wins that contact with Carl Ingram. And five metres out, if you're not going to win that shot, win that hit. I mean, it's, it's good night. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's something we've seen first. And Gonover on the short side as well as an option if Kerr wants to use him. Looks like he's coming to the open side. And uh, CK is the dummy. On goes Smith. Marcus Smith. Then when the out half scores and when the back move goes right exactly the way Hugo called it a second ago, the CK there with the dummy run and it just opened up for them. Danny Kerr. And again the shot, but this time McGrath did well to get it out before the doors came off. And this is wonderful. And Sexton, and he's got McGrath to his left hand side. Jackson knew there was going to be a trail line from his scrum half, Johnny Sexton. He you know, stayed. In a great support line, and maybe a year or two ago, he would have had another. Beat him. That's penalty advantage over. Right behind him. Moala outside. And here is the opportunity presenting itself, and it's carried on by Toyama. Slips it on to Pino once more, and he's quickly closed down. High tackle you hear coming in from the referee. Yep. So advantage to Clermont. Para pops it. Was it forward to Fritz Lee? No, still advantage to Clermont. Bath trying to seal it off, but. Clermont with the ball, a new advantage as well. So crossfield kick from Lopez, the challengers there, Raka gathers and scores. No advantage needed, third try. Uh, Zirakash village. <laughs> Solid from Clermont, so away they go now. Makalevu is there and then little miss move and through the middle. That's Moala, he's got support outside but doesn't need him. A try again for Clermont. George Moala and it's try number four as the first quarter ends. Clermont already have their bonus. That is a stunning move, and it's all made by the decision-making and the hands that Ben was talking about of Fritz Lee. Para makes the initial port pass. He comes on the loop, just holds enough. Little pump pass to hold Max Clark in the midfield. And as soon as Clark bites back in at him, he knows he's going to lose the race against Moala. And when Moala looks up, it could have been one of four players to score, but he thinks, why risk a pass? 14, player of the match for the final. Luke McGrath, typical Johnny Saxton play for the final. Luke McGrath, typical Johnny Saxton play. Go, 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 Go,
Don't break! Still a fair few internationals in him. Reese Webb out there to Hadley Parks. There goes bigger and bigger. Had to go through that process again. Yeah, it's just the ground in here. All bigger knees there. There's a little bit of an outside. Hole. Stay there, stay on the ball. Platform is presented. so far this season and, and that could be a very telling score. Sedera when Stay half play Saracens away in round 22. He's falling. Heinz frustrated at the speed. It's taking for the ball to emerge but look at the space opening up here for Gloucester and the power in the carry from Paledri yet again quick transfer through the hands Banahat against his former club just driving the knife well it's a brilliant finish appeals for a penalty at that breakdown but when it wasn't one Paledri again with the break talking to Singer doing a great job with cover but he just can't get back to his feet quickly enough and Harris has hands on the end to take out the good. last defender absolutely sublime brilliant score Catching a bath team. And the feed for George Horn. Told to get on with it. And he does. Peter Horn. And the carry in midfield from Brick. Back inside comes Seymour. Clean line. Wonderful try. Oh, what a line. Game needed if you're a neutral. Oh, it was wonderful play. It's the first time that Leinster just lost the line, didn't they? They were always flying up on the line and they just got sucked into the ball carrier. 12 is reduced to 5. As you can see here, once he makes the half break through that line, there's almost nobody. Josh Murphy is flailing back. He was a fringe defender on the open side. This is a very nice Smith. It is. Reese Pettinson around the open side now. Sliding in behind Moonga. Good use. Sends it out the back for Reese. He goes across to Bridge. Reese to Bridge. George Bridge. Three away now. Can they ice it? New Zealand getting close. Ireland come round the corner. Smith looking for his second. He's over. He's in a try. He fills his gambles. See him on the outside of Ireland defence. He's bit. And then away. George Bridge. Great cover tackle. From Carney, Keith Hills makes up for his mistake, but then just look at the old back numbers, secure with the ball, and that man Smith again keeps his patience, and he's over for his second KT. Well, tonight coming around, I don't see the bank. Going head to head once again, the biggest fight of the year. You can watch it live, exclusive on BT Sport Box Office, live from Las Vegas. All the way down to Finn Russell, who puts his jet shoes on. He doesn't get enough credit, actually for his pace, but his weight, the way in which he manipulates defenders by having the ball in two hands and then chucks on the afterburners. It's a lovely, simple play. I say it's simple. It's simple okay, when you're nice, as good okay. as he is. Massive fend-off. But his five-metre channel via Russell inside the 22. Concerning moments, potentially, for Saracens, who've begun so strong. They were 14 points up. After just 12 minutes. Superb attack. They've stolen 40 metres down that blind side. Lovely hands, incisive running, and they're back at it again now. Tonga, who's growing into the game as well on the carrying front. Quick ball for Russell. Vakatawa again on the angle. Always on the angle. Taken up by Palu. Stay down one. Imoff. Fires it out. And uh, Lore. Carries it up, Iribaren for Tonga, Russell, here's Vakatawa, trouble for Saracens, he's in, yet again, who's now got two, lethal in the open spaces. I guess the other one's both sides, and an interesting setup with Crouch. Japan, the defender, do we get chance for a special play, they've talked about it, this is a perfect platform, here we go. It's a little bit of dexterity, the pop-up, 
Takazuba. Normally they'd go to. There's the first half. Tanaka to feed. He comes open straight away. In front of the Irish post, post now. The switch of play. Lemecki comes off his wing. A drive for the line. Irish defence good for that time. Tanaka looks up. It's Jimeno Advantage with that side. drive. Advantage Japan. Free play. Tanaka looks up. Lafayette. It's going to be the try for the new player. To the offside, you've got a penalty advantage, and then you can see Nakamura there calling for the ball. He whips it out wide. There's another pass to Fukuoka, who scores. That's the killer pass there from Lafaelli. As Carney shoots up on him, and Fukuoka just dives over in the left corner, and the crowd. Arrives.